Hey guys, and welcome to this video on the Master Theorem. So here we have our problem in green. It says show that t of n equals 3 times t of n divided by 3 plus n divided by 2 belongs to big theta of n times log n by the Master Theorem. And here in, in the purple rectangle here, I have the Master Theorem that says if t of n is in the form or is equal to a times t of n divided by b plus theta of n to the power of d, where a is greater than 0, b is greater than 1, and d is greater than or equal to 0, then our function t of n belongs to theta of n to the power of d if d is greater than log base b of a. Our function t of n belongs to theta of n to the power of d times log n if d is equal to log base b of a. And our function t of n belongs to theta of n to the power of log base b of a if d is less than log base b of a. All right, so let's first try to rewrite our function into this form here for our master theorem. So our original function was t of n is equal to 3 times t of n divided by 3 plus n divided by 2. All right. So um, what we need to do is we need to figure out, well, what uh, n divided by 2 belongs to in terms of, you know, big O, big theta, and, and big omega. So you're going to just have to trust me here. I do have videos on this on how to prove this. But this is just equal to 3 times t of n divided by 3 plus theta of n. All right. So what is our d value? Well, our d value is here. This is actually theta of n to the power of 1, right? An implicit 1 there. Let me rewrite this. OK. And so now we have our value. So we have our a which is here, we have our b, which is here, and we have our d value, which is right there. Okay, so our a equals 3, our b is equal to 3, and our d is equal to 1. So we need to figure out what log base b of a is so we can uh, figure out which case to use for t. All right, so log base b of a is equal to log base 3 of 3, which is equal to 1. So our d is also equal to 1. Therefore, we're going to use this second case here. Okay. So the second case is telling us that our t of n um, belongs to big theta of n to the power of d times log n because d is equal to log base b of a. And what did we say d was? Well, we said d is equal to 1. Okay, so that means that t of n belongs to theta of n to the power of 1 times log n. And of course, that means that t of n belongs to theta of n log n. All right. And that's basically it. We just um, we just proved that t of n is or belongs to big theta of n times log n. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave me any uh, questions or comments you have. Don't forget to hit that like button, share it, and definitely don't forget to subscribe and check out some more of my videos. I have a, a course on Udemy that you can check out. I have it in the, the description link below of how to solve recurrence relations and other videos like proving big theta, big omega, and big O. So be sure to check all of those out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.